Hi, today we're going to see how to create a paper text effect in GIMP. So first I'm going to create a new image, go to File, New, the image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to change the color of this layer here, so select the foreground color. And now I'm going to type the HTML notation, it is 3db. 0 dd press enter and then press ok and now i'm just going to drag the color so here it is and now i'm going to change the foreground color again so click on this icon here double click on the html notation and then type c b c e c b press enter and then press ok select the text tool left click on the layer here to create a new text box and now i'm going to type my text Control A to select all the text, and now I'm going to change the font type. Double click here on the font here, and then I'm going to type. I'm going to choose this one here, Poppins Bold, and for the font size, I'm going to increase it to 500. So here it is, press Enter, and now select the alignment tool, left click, left click on the text layer. Make sure the align is related to the image and then align it horizontally and then vertically like this. And now I'm going to convert this text here to a path. So right click text to path. So if I go to the path tab, so here's our text. As you can see, there's a red outline of the path here. So let's go back to the layer step. I'm going to hide this paper here layer, this text layer. I'm going to create a new transparent layer, so click on this icon here, fill it with transparency and then press OK. If you want to remove these squares here, just select another tool. And now go back to the path tab here, double click. So as you can see here, the, we are on the move tool. If I double click on the path here, as you can see, change to the path tool here. And now I'm just going to fill this path here with the foreground color, with the gray color we, we chose. So click on fill path and then click on solid color check the anti-aliasing and then fill so here it is while the path here is active i'm going to stroke this path so i'm going to create a new transparent layer so click on this icon here fill it with transparency press ok and now place it under the gray text so here it is and now make sure your foreground color is white and then click on stroke path make sure you're on the transparent layer Check the stroke line, solid color, anti-aliasing, and for the line width, I'm going to go with 70 pixels, and then click on stroke. So here it is. If you want to remove this path, just select another tool. So here it is. And now I'm going to merge these two texts here. So select the top one, the gray one. So here it is, and now merge down with the white one. So here are they. And now right click, alpha to selection make selection here from this text create a new transparent layer click on this icon here fill it with transparency and then press ok and now i'm going to fill it with black so click on these two squares here to make the foreground and background colors black and white and now i'm just going to drag the background color so here it is and now go to select none to remove selection and now i'm going to place this black text there under the white one here and gray one and now select this white text go to filters distort curve band you have the upper and the lower curve borders so i'm going to select the upper one i'm just going to bring it down a little bit so make sure to check the automatic preview so here it is and then select the lower one i'm going to bring it down with the same amount so here I think it's okay here and then press ok so here it is and now select the black layer this one here and then make sure you're on the move tool and then while moving it keep the control key down here so I'm going to move it down so I think here I'm going to leave it here so I'm going to bring it up little bit so here like this 
now what I'm going to do go to filters I'm going to blur this black text blur Gaussian blur so here it's too much I just want to blur it a little bit so like this I think here it's okay and then we're going to play with the opacity so click on ok and then we can still reduce the opacity a little bit so here so if you want to film this part here just select the top layer select the paintbrush tool make sure the hardness and the force is 100 and then I'm just going to decrease a little bit size so control Z to undo make sure the foreground color is white and then just fill in and then right click new from visible so here it is that's how you can create a paper text effect in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time